With the new QuickBase uh, iframe functionality that you can add to a formula URL button, there are a couple of cool things you can do. And in the uh, app magic buttons, I've updated a bunch of stuff that you'll find. I'm going to go into one of our example projects here. This is an example of a whole bunch of features and functions you can do inside of QuickBase. Little snippets of code and best practices on how to do it. And I, I've added this tab here, iframe documents and video. And if I click on this, I'm going to refresh the page here for a second. Um, what you'll see down at the bottom when I go over to that frame is I've got documents and um, videos. Well, notice the document isn't here. <laughs> What you want to do is really right click, edit the field properties and allow this so that G Viewer, which is Google's viewing tool, to be able to see this. So let's let's turn this on and then go back into the uh, iframe um, tab here. And you can see down here I've got a resume. Now this resume is really looking at this and taking that information and rendering it through GViewer through a DB page, which I'll take a look at in just a second. Over on the right hand side is an option that uh, takes advantage of, well, let's put a URL into a regular formula URL field. Let me click on edit here so you see what I've got. I've got a uh, desire to do a video and you notice this one, you gotta make sure you have the embed code of what this is. So when you share this, make sure it's the embed is inside that URL there. Um, and what that's doing is looking at a formula URL that's looking at this. So I'm going to edit this formula URL just for a second so you can see it. And there's that field which is containing that link. And so all we're using that original URL field for is to contain the link. And then this is looking um, to that and displaying it as an iframe. And uh, in keeping with the 1280 by 720 standard resolution and an aspect ratio, I've changed it to 640 by 360 to make it small. It's so you don't have any of those black lines around it. And I say open it in the same page so it's displaying on the form as I look at it. So let's go back and, uh, and, and take a look at the other. So we've got videos on the uh, right hand side and we're going to take a look now at how GViewer or using GViewer can be used here. Now this is a Word doc as you can see up above. If I go to next and to take a look at some of the other field types you'll see it's pretty it's pretty diverse this is a rich text you can do powerpoint excel there's a whole bunch of examples inside here so let's let's start off the very first thing is you've got a file attachment that you're loading into quickbase and you can see that it's the field id is 432 so we want to be able to use a formula url just like this over here but we need to be able to resolve this on a DB page or, or take a DB page. So I'm going to come back in here. This is a formula URL field. I'm going to go down to the bottom and you can see it's a formula. And this is the uh, code. And notice I'm identifying that the file attachment field is this because this has to be sent over to the DB page so that it renders and then we're displaying it here. Uh, let's scoot down here. Now I, I said this is going to be 800 by 800 in size and I, uh, I had a, a button here but that's not significant necessarily but in a new pop-up window or a new window is where I wanted it to go. Uh, what this URL it says is we're taking the one from our realm and we're taking the app ID from our application we're going out to the DB pages and finding one that's called iframe.html. And now that page over there needs some help. It needs some help from what is the record. The record ID is the record ID. And notice I'm just sandwiching these with an ampersand. Um, also sending over the table ID, which is this. This is the one you're on. And your root URL, which is really uh, your, you know, acme.quickbase.com 
uh, which is your your uh, root here. It's actually displayed here, but I need to send it over to the DB page. Uh, and then the file attachment um, number, the field ID, I have to pass that over. So let's go take a look at the DB page that's actually uh, doing this. You'll get it from the main home page. We'll click on settings. We'll come over to pages. We'll look up the page, which is iframe iframe and we'll take a look at what that code is now it's not a lot of code but it's uh it's pretty densely um displayed here the um first thing we're going to do is take and construct a url and it's called url params and we're going to use this search function and when we find uh, our id which is remember that's that ampersand uh RID equals. Um, let's make a variable called um, RID. It's going to find the table ID. We're going to call that table ID. The my URL root, we're going to call my URL root, and then the file attachment field. So all this is doing is kind of putting these as variables so that we can construct them. Now down below we're going to construct the actual source that we're going to be displaying. And this is where we start to use the Google Viewer stuff. So we've got the Google G View and then the URL equals. Now we had to construct this from all the stuff that is being sent over in the uh, um, parameters of that URL. So we're stripping out and finding the, the now we've got this for the root. We're adding that in here. We're concatenating uh, a text string for up. We're rebuilding a URL which will actually be resolving and then we're going to display this as a as page 47 or uh, the iframe.html page and uh, so there's the code. Now it's very easy just to copy this. This should be universal because we're passing over all the local things uh, in the actual uh, formula URL um, as it's constructed so it should be universal and easy to be uh, able to be used here so let's go back and take a look one more time we're going to go into projects and we'll go into uh, it doesn't matter which one we're going into um, and we're looking under the iframe area and remember in order to render a document you need to right click edit this field property, check that checkbox that says allow access so that GViewer can render it. It renders most document type formats. It doesn't do really well on images, so you'll have to use uh, a, uh, um, a rich text, formula rich text field to do images. And of course, this value has the embed for this. We cover things like this in our webinars held Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time. It's called Office Hours. I hope to see you there someday and uh, have a great day.